Hello everyone, this is Ken Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about how does um, and uh, what is the average baby weight by month. So if you like the video related to Total Hill, I would like to request you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Now, what is the average baby weight by month? Although babies of the same age can vary in size, their weight is one indication of good nutrition and physical development it can therefore be helpful to know the average baby weight by age in months now average baby weight like adult babies can be a different size according to the who the average birth weight for males babies born full term is seven pounds or six ounces the average birth weight for female baby is seven lb which is two ounce now most babies born at 37 to 40 weeks weigh between five lb or eight ounce and eight lb 13 ounce according to match of dims a baby who weighs under five lb or eight ounce at birth has a low birth weight it is common for babies to lose around 10 percent of their weight shortly after birth this weight decrease uh, mostly occurs due to fluid loss and is usually nothing to worry about most babies gain back the weight within a couple of weeks now what do we expect try not to focus too much on weight as the only indicator of physical development other measure measurement that indicate physical development include the baby's length and their head circumference combining these three measurement give doctors an indication of how the baby is growing compared with other babies of the same age and sex Babies grow and gain weight the fastest within the first six months of life. Although it can vary, babies tend to gain around four to seven ounces per week in the first four to six months. Weight can um, or gain then slow slightly with an average gain of around three to five ounces per week when the baby is aged uh, six to eighteen months. So on average, babies triple their birth weight by their first birthday. Infant growth patterns do not follow a textbook schedule. However, some babies gain weight steadily and will stay in the same percentile or close to it for several months in other cases a baby weight can increase rapidly which may signal a growth spurt growth spurt can occur at any time and sometimes a growth spurt will move a baby up to a new weight percentile now what affects baby weight several factors can affect how fast a baby gains weight these factors include sex although it can now uh, very male babies are often bigger at birth than female babies and uh, they typically gain weight a little faster during infancy now nutrition weight gain and growth rates can also vary depending on whether the baby consume break um, or a breast milk or formula according to the american academy of pediatrics um, breastfed babies gain weight and grow faster than formula fed babies during the first six months however the rate of uh, and that rate of weight gain can shift during the second six months breastfed babies may gain weight and grow less rapidly then formula fed babies from six months to one year now medical condition underlying medical condition can cause a baby to gain weight more slowly for example babies with the con genital heart defect may gain weight at a slower rate than babies without the condition condition that affect nutrient absorption or digestion such as celiac disease may also lead to slow weight gain prematurity babies born prematurely may grow and um, gain weight most slowly during the first year than um, babies born at full term however many babies who are born prematurely gain weight rapidly in the first months and can catch up in weight by the first year or so now the summary is the average birth weight for full term male babies is 7 lb or 6 ounce the average birth weight for female babies born full term is 7 lb or which is 2 ounce baby weight um, Baby weight chart can help healthcare providers track a baby physical development. These charts compare a baby weight with that of other babies who are the same age and sex. Usually, a doctor looks for a steady growth rather than a certain percentile to access a baby's physical development. It's important to remember that even if a baby weight is in the lower percentile, they will not necessarily be short adult. Those or the opposite is also true. Larger babies do not necessarily become tall adult. That's all about the fitness growth about the babies in this video. I will talk about in the next video with my other content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care.